is there is there an inherent difference between a state and a federal RICO case? Well, yeah, probably, probably is. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, definitely, definitely, it's, it's it's some differences. I mean, there's definitely resources involved because the state doesn't have as much money as the feds. Yeah, but the feds do a lot of different. Like feds, you don't get a preliminary hearing. You know, if they indict you. You don't you don't get to see your witnesses. Like you may never talk to your informants until trial. It'll be hmm. the first time you can see your informants. Usually in states, they do a preliminary hearing where they bring the witnesses in and. And, you know, they tell their little story, part of the story. Uh, but in, in, in the feds, you don't get that luxury. Yeah, man, it's a it's an ugly situation. Uh, and everyone is like free YSL, free Young Thug, protect black art and so forth. Uh, you know, but, but ultimately you, you have you have the situation where. You know, like uh, Akon was talking about this the other day with me, where. You got these these artists who are trying not to be artists. They're trying to actually have be gangsters. Know, be gangsters at the same time. They want to rap about what they're actually doing, even after they become successful. And uh, that's retarded. And the DA the guys in the streets trying to get out. Yeah. So what they say. And the DA said, you know, everyone's mad at me over using lyrics. And she's like, if you want to go ahead and rap about your crimes, I will use that in my well, cases. I'm surprised they ain't been doing that. Well, they have been doing that. Because it's just feds, not as high profile as it is. Could now. you imagine if the feds would have got me on the tape rapping about selling cocaine? They would have used that in court. Like here he is out his own mouth talking about how he sold drugs, you know. So so I, I'm just shocked that that they hadn't been, you know, uh, uh using more. So of, of of that type of language, you know, or, or they got to, you know, I don't know. It's it's crazy because, you know, it's almost like the guys will be on TV portraying as drug dealers selling cocaine. So I don't know, or, or hair run or whatever. It, it's, it's, it's a sticky situation. It's a sticky slope, you know, to, to, to be going, uh, 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 going down. Um, Cause now you're talking about art and, and, and entertainment and, and, and real life. And I don't know, it's too much for me to, to, to you know, I, I don't want to be nowhere near that area. So, you know, if, if y'all want to go down that area, like, you know, we're we working on the record label now, but we're going to stay away from the gangster, the gangsterism. As you should. As you should. And and I, I've discussed this before. What I think is going to happen, you know, for, for example, part of the case that that the uh, the DA is essentially putting together is that there's a war that's been going on in Atlanta between YSL and YFN, right? And YFN, uh, Lucci is one of the guys from YFN. He's in jail right now over his own RICO case. And at one point, YFN Lucci's mother got shot. And part of the case is a young thug lyric that said, I shot at his mother, now he don't mention me. Mm. So they're tying that lyric into the shooting. Is it related? Who knows? I have no idea. But let's look at a situation like this. For case for case to arguing that case to the jury, it would be great evidence. Right. Right. So if it gets to the jury and everything's you know, put together and so forth. But a much more likely situation is, like you said, 98% of the cases don't get to trial. Let's just say the young thug pleads guilty for a lesser charge, for a lesser um, amount of time. And part of his guilty plea is like, yes, this lyric is about Lucci's mother. Lucci's mother can then sue the record label wow. and say, you guys were profiting and promoting wow. these lyrics, this music that ultimately caused a massive amount of trauma to me. Here I am, an older woman who got shot by this rapper that you Promote. have made millions of dollars off of. 300 Entertainment was completely purchased by Warner Brothers, the parent label. $100 million lawsuit, massive settlement, and then you see a, a, a domino effect that starts to happen where now major labels are not signing certain types of artists because of the financial liability 
involved. Hmm. There, there was a famous case recently, for example, uh, where this uh, Comcast uh, installer ended up killing an old woman. The family sued Comcast and proved that Comcast did not do a background check on this guy because he had a, a prior you know, criminal history. They got a billion dollars from Comcast. Wow. Now, I don't know whether they're actually going to get it at the end of the day, but what I'm saying is that you see situations like this. No, it makes sense to me. You, you I, see I, what I'm saying? I, I totally get it. No, you I, see to what I'm saying? I totally get it. I, I totally get it. Yeah. You know, I mean, for example, uh, hold on. Well, you know, they suing Alex Jones just got hit with a big lawsuit. That's what I'm saying. For for his comments about the people uh, uh, faking the, the shooting at uh, at the at the last school. Well, not the yeah, last. a billion dollars. Kanye West is being sued by George Floyd's daughter's mother about comments that he made and so forth. This is is very commonplace in the legal world today. You know, and for example, I mean, Jamaica recently announced they're actually banning music and broadcasts that actually glorified drugs and crime on the radio. I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing for, and I'm a fan of gangster rap from NWA, Ice-T. I, I've been listening to music my whole life, but should major corporations be pushing this on a massive level, at the highest possible level? I don't know. And I think that after one of them gets hit with a $100 million penalty, yeah, all of them are going to sit down and say, we're going to drop this artist, we're going to drop this artist, we're going to drop this artist. You gonna Before before we put your album out, we're going to have somebody go through carefully and say, take this song out, take this lyric out, take this out. You don't like it? Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll let you go. Here, here's your release from the label. Go put it out independently if you want. And people say, oh, it's the same thing as movies or so forth. No, it's not the same thing as movies. A lot of time, this stuff is based on reality and, and based on things that are happening, which as we see with a lot of these cases right now. I'm not necessarily mad at this. You know, I, I feel like at some point, hip hop has to grow up. I don't think it's grown up yet. It's been 50 years. At 50 years old, if you haven't grown up, you're still gangbanging. You know? 50-year-old gangbanging. 50-year-old gang gangbanging. <laughs> right? It's kind of a joke, right? Yeah, it is. When you see a dude who's 50 years old who's still set tripping on people and still like... And those guys got so much power, man. Those guys got a lot of power, but they don't really use it. You know, and and, and I don't know. It's, it's like you, you you try to direct them and you try to guide them, but they just don't see it. You know, they don't they don't see where they could be and what they could be doing for 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 the community you know i mean at the end of the day you know the legacy your legacy should be how much you help the community you know how, how you make the world a better place then then you know it, it's not about how many people you can kill or you know i mean we just you know right now we're just a little twisted but we, we're gonna get it together we're gonna we're gonna pull it together 